Hey everybody, I'm Jen Banky. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of our Tesh Talks. Today I'm with Joe. Uh, he is the co-founder and program director for the Commons, which we're actually in the Commons space, which is connected in Ward 4. Really cool opportunity to be here, and thanks for being our guest. So today I just wanted to ask you, you know, what is the Commons, how did it come about, and just share kind of the history around that. Yeah, well thanks Jen. Uh, happy to be on Tesh Talks. Uh, so the Commons, we are, actually this fall, we are celebrating our five-year anniversary. Oh, fantastic. You know, some, some people say that if, as a new uh, organization, if you can last five years, yeah, you kind good. of got, you kind of, yeah, you're good. Um, uh, I won't go as far as to say that, but uh, no, we're, we're happy awesome. to be celebrating uh, five years. And five years ago, we, uh, we had what we call an emergent moment in time where the stars kind of aligned and we, we seized an opportunity. Uh, and that opportunity came when, when Dr. Michael Lovell uh, was the Chancellor of our EWM, became the President of Marquette. Uh, meanwhile, his number two in charge of all startup and entrepreneurial stuff over at, at EWM became the Executive Director for the Greater Milwaukee Committee's Innovation in Milwaukee Initiative. Great. That, yeah, that a lot. But basically, they were, uh, they were running a, a program with all the local corporations that have innovation at their core. Mm -hmm. uh, and at that same time, I was working with a bunch of great folks like Matt Cordio uh, with Startup Milwaukee. Um, I was also running my own consultancy, but was really into the tech entrepreneurship yeah. uh, world. And with those three uh, uh, groups of people, we have academia, education, uh, we had the corporate innovation community and the entrepreneurial community. We sort of said, what would it look like if we formed a large scale regional collaboration mm -hmm. to uh, make the pathway into that type of work easier for students, smoother for students, build a more connected ecosystem where driven, ambitious uh, uh, students that were studying anything really from engineering, business to arts uh, to philosophy, what would it look like if they were able to uh, get connected into that innovative entrepreneurial world? Uh, it's a skill set that there aren't many classes you know, to take on that. Now, now there's a good number of them, which is yeah. awesome. Uh, but five years ago, there weren't too many classes to take. It was a hard thing to show on a resume. It's mm -hmm. a skill set that a lot of companies were asking for, but it's a tough one to, to really uh, see in the traditional structures. So we created the Commons as a uh, hands-on experience to, to bring students from all these different universities together to work on real projects, uh, build their real networks, apply mm -hmm. their various skill sets, and create things that are impactful. So do you guys hold workshops and things for these students that it's just a free-for-all, people can come in, they can learn, or they have to be accepted into the program, or what is that? Yes, like? well, it is free for all, so we don't charge students, uh, but there is an application process that we uh, that we run with our, our, our most popular collegiate program is our Skills Accelerator. We run that every semester, uh, get students from across the region coming in together. Uh, we used to run it on Tuesday nights, now it's going to be on, on Fridays, and, and we We've shifted some things, and and, and why why the shift? Is it just you think there'll be more activity for Friday? Well, the the shift uh, came from a couple of different strategic uh, directions that were moving, and, and well, one of them just personally for our own team, it's going to mm -hmm. be a little bit more manageable to keep yeah. the the program within the workday. Uh, it also is a lot more helpful for our corporate partners that are bringing uh, challenges to the students. They're mm -hmm. bringing their staff in to engage. A little bit easier to ask for that during the workday than after uh, yeah. after hours, yeah. as you may imagine. Mm -hmm. um, but then also, uh, uh, it allows us to scale. Uh, over the last five years, we've really hit a nice niche with our collegiate programming, but now we're doing a lot more work uh, in the high school space and in the professional space, uh, building this culture of innovation across all these different uh, groups. Working with anyone, really, that is growth-minded and they're thinking to themselves, what's next for me? How do I get there? Who can help me? People that are asking themselves those questions, uh, we like to work with them. Yeah. And, and that, is, that is not something bound by age or, or what degree you're pursuing or, or where you are in your academics or career. Uh, that's a universal mindset that can, that can exist. So we want to we wanna be doing more programming for, for those people. Mm -hmm. So we moved our accelerator, our collegiate accelerator program to Fridays. Uh, it actually allows us to work with more students, more companies, uh, offer more challenges, structure things just a little bit differently to enhance the experience. 
everything based on what we've learned over the last five years doing this thing, we're, we're just our next iteration. Um, so we're really excited about it. And actually, um, as of the recording right now, it's going to start uh, this Friday. Oh, um, awesome. Yeah, so we're going to have this, this place we've packed with a bunch of people. Cool. We've done a lot of fun work. That's good. Yeah. So what kind of companies are coming in and providing that mentorship, advisorship yeah. for these students? Yeah, so uh, we open it up to up, up to the larger community. We have uh, over 600 people who joined our professional mentor-based network uh, to, to give back, kind of pay it forward. You, know, yeah. you remember that person that gave you that great oh, yeah. piece of advice or, or helped uh, uh, you get connected into your career path or others in the, in the space. Um, this is a good chance to, to pay it forward for other driven and ambitious people. Uh, so we're, we're pulling from all different industries, all different levels. We have some of our student alumni that have gone through our program. They're still in school yeah. signing up to be mentors because they're like, listen, I, it's really cool. I may be, you know, just a, a, a half a step, you know, mm -hmm. more uh, uh, experienced than someone else, but you still have an opportunity. Yeah, they can share so. their story then with people exactly. who are coming into it from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, and add energy into the network because I think that's... At the end of the day, uh, with some of our, especially like with our program partnerships with folks like Milwaukee, mm -hmm. uh, it is about finding a sense of, of belonging in your place. You know, it's, yeah. it's one thing to find a job. It's one thing to, to be on a career path. And we know that it's, it can be a little easier to leave a job, but when you have a real community and when you have a real sense of belonging, that's the thing that's going to keep you around. And yeah. so... For as much as we do, uh, the, the, our experiences are based in innovation and creative problem solving and entrepreneurship. We're not trying to really get people to start new companies. We're not mm -hmm. necessarily even measuring our success by number of students that get hired into positions, jobs, internships, all that sort of stuff. We're really looking at, are people more connected? Do they have a, a, a better sense of belonging? Do they feel like this is an area uh, that presents opportunity for them? And when we can and move the needle, to keep them here too, exactly. the when we can move the yeah. needle on that, you have talent retention. Right. Uh, so it's it's kind of like we lead with entrepreneurship and innovation because it's fun, it's sexy, it's like a good time, great experience to to learn and meet new people. But we very quickly get into network connectivity, and then that leads to talent retention. Fantastic. Well, I love the whole concept. I think it's great. It's something that I know when I came out of college seven years ago, that really wasn't a thing. So you're just kind of like thrown in the wolves, figure it out, find a place to work, and then yeah. from there you try to build your own connections if you have that drive and motivation internally to do it. Yeah. But to have a support group and somewhere to go to start, I think is really, really exciting. Yeah. Um, my last question to you is what kind of trends have you seen, not just from you know the community growing together here, but anything specific technology-wise or business-wise that's becoming really popular in this area? Yeah, I think uh, I think what's what's been refreshing is our as as a community, uh, not only our collaborative attitude, mm. but um, recognizing and acknowledging that it is it's actually something that's based in our, our history. Like we have a long history of innovation, entrepreneurship, new technology development based on collaboration, expertise, skill set, expertise right. over here, this skill set over here, coming together to, to create something new. Uh, you know, Harley and Davidson, Briggs and Stratton, you have Allen and Edmonds, you have these yeah. like, these yeah. historical large companies that did fantastic new work uh, based on that collaborative uh, uh, skills and, and, and you know, that multidisciplinary yeah. aspect coming together. And that's what I see as, as a really uh, great opportunity here in, in the Milwaukee region. Uh, to leverage our history and resources around manufacturing, uh, to leverage our, our historical attitude of like hard work ethic, get it done, practicality. We build stuff that, yeah. that matters, that right. has real impact, and provides real value to real problems. Um, and I love that, and I think it's something that uh, we see every day in our, uh, the new startups that are, are, are coming out the new businesses, the, the folks that are doing great innovative work within companies, mm -hmm. uh, that is the common theme across all of it. And that's, that's always inspiring. Uh, I think it, it can point to a North Star for a lot of students that think that you know, entrepreneurship is the next 
app that blows up overnight. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, maybe, maybe not. Look yeah. at like the real problems that these real people are solving in very real ways. Right. And that's the sort of stuff that like yeah. sort of shifts our perception a little bit about what good creative problem solving can look like. Yeah, that's great. Well, yeah. I really value you sharing all of your insights and I feel very inspired even just talking to you today cool. about everything going on. So, really well, appreciate thanks, it. Yeah, yeah this is problem. awesome. Uh, let's uh, give a high five. Right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, thanks so job. much. Enjoy everyone. Yep, thanks, bye.